W-I-B-T-A, if I bought a car my wife couldn't drive? I need to buy a new car, and I would love to have a manual transmission. It's my one non-negotiable. I grew up driving manual, and I miss it deeply. All of my cars have been inherited, so I've never had a say in my car's features slash specs. This will be the first car I've purchased for myself. Finally, I'm a, a car guy. I enjoy driving, and I've always wanted a sporty car, but also have it fit my needs. My wife is seven months pregnant and bought herself a new midsize SUV last year, with her own money. She views cars as a way of getting from A to B, with practically and comfort. Note, we have to park our cars back to front in our gravel driveway, with one car being in the garage. I will widen the driveway, which I can do it in a weekend, so we can park our cars side by side. We have mostly separate finances, but have a joint CC and checking account, which we both contribute to monthly. The rest is our personal money that we keep in personal bank accounts, including separate savings and separate investments. I'm paying the down payment and monthly payments on the new car, so I feel the decision is mine, but happy to listen to my wife's thoughts, reciprocation from her car purchase. When I started the car buying process, I went with sport compacts, which are in my budget. Based on our prior discussions, the car has to be a daily commuter for me, allow me to take the kids to and from daycare, and quick local trips. My wife thinks these cars are too small and cannot fit our needs with a baby and a potential second child. She says there's not enough space for kids' stuff, there is, and the back seats won't fit two backward-facing car seats, they will. I've tried to show her my research, but she refused to watch the videos or read the articles I've bookmarked. Her main sticking point is she won't be able to drive it because it's a manual. She's concerned she won't be able to drive it when she'll need to, in an emergency. I told her I'm happy to teach her manual, but at first she flat out refused to learn. Now she says she'll learn, but gives an excuse of how we'll be too busy. I said if it's that important she drive the car, her mom can stay for a weekend to watch the baby and we can take a day for her to learn. Again, she said we won't have time. Every time we discuss it, she accuses me of ignoring our family and that she needs to be able to drive the car. I say she's creating a false dichotomy, and the car I want can fit our needs. I also argue that her car can be the big family car for trips or hauling, and my car can be for easy parking during city trips or sports events. Note, I don't drink, so I will always be able to drive. We've had many arguments over this. The most recent resulted in her giving me the cold shoulder for two days. I am at my wit's end and ready to buy without her blessing. W-I-B-T-A if I ignored my wife's objections and got the car I wanted? Edit. I'm specifically looking at is a Honda Civic C. We live walking distance to urgent care, CVS, and a grocery store. Our neighbor is a NICU nurse if shit really hits the fan. And we do a babysit in my FAL's SUV, he works slash lives abroad, which we use on occasion, but we don't know when he'll be returning. So a third car is not an option for now.